What's up, MFers? I, uh, I freaking hate it here this time of year. It's terribly cold, and honestly, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in a very good mood. I feel like temperature's been below zero. This is the warmest time of the day, and it's six. It's six freaking degrees. I'm gonna go inside and tell you what we're doing in today's video. I suppose if there's a silver lining of the terrible weather outside, it's that it's unboxing season. It's a great time for me to open up some new baits show you guys some sick new baits and of course share some tips with you guys so you can go catch more fish in 2018. So today's video we're gonna do the old mystery tackle box pro box unboxing for the month of December and since I'm not in the uh, the best mood you know I'm in a shitty mood I'll go ahead and say I'm in a mood we're gonna go ahead and burn some stuff. Now I do not recommend opening your mystery tackle box this way in your household unless you uh, you really don't like your house uh, and you have really good homeowner's insurance. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's let's see if we can cause some damage. Now before we get to burning the house down, I want to remind you guys, Mystery Tackle Box is an amazing tackle subscription service for anglers of all skill levels. Doesn't matter if you're a brand new fisherman, experienced fisherman, it gives you the opportunity to try a whole bunch of baits you probably never would have tried out. And the great thing is we make all these Mystery Tackle Box videos so you guys can go on our channels, on Mystery Tackle Box channel, and go see how to use the products in these boxes. Now I know we just had Christmas, but that's the great thing about these. It's like Christmas every single month. And the great thing is a lot of people think you got to go sign up for an entire year. You don't have to do that. You can go sign up for one month or just get one box if you want. And if you type in my personal promo code MILK, M-I-L-K, at the checkout, you will save $10 off your first box. So basically, you can go try this box almost for free. Super, super cheap once you use my promo code. I'll link it down below. Click on it. Makes a great gift. And really, it's a good time to build up our tackle arsenal. I don't know if you're like me. And it's miserable outside, and you're not going to be able to go use these baits right now because there's ice on your legs or it's just too cold to go out and fish. This lets you build up that arsenal so when spring comes around, you're ready to go stick some slaunches on all these new Mystery Tackle Box baits. All right, let's get the old blowtorch lit up. Think that's hot enough. I'd say it's hot enough. We'll up. Let's crank her up a little bit. All right, let's light this bad boy on fire. Then the baits will hopefully just fall out and uh, yeah, maybe the house will burn down. Who knows? All right, we're getting uh, we're we're getting a little bit smoky. Probably not the best idea. Let's take this outdoors. All right, this seems like a, a little bit better idea, uh, other than it's uh, it's three degrees outside right now. All right, let's light this guy up. Man, I hope this catches on fire quickly because I did not want to be out here any longer than I have to be. Oh, there she goes. I guess the plan of attack is just you know light this on fire and hope all the baits don't catch on fire so I can actually do the unboxing. Going pretty well so far, I would say. You know, the great thing about unboxing this way, it's it's really, really smart to do, obviously. And it keeps your hands warm when it's only three degrees outside. As you can see, getting a nice little, uh, little torch going here. Hopefully melting all those soft plastics inside. Oh yeah, this is smart. This is a good idea here. This is another great feature of Mystery Tackle Box as well. They make their boxes pretty non-flammable. So if your house does catch on fire, you'll be able to save all those awesome baits that are inside. Or if your mailbox catches on fire, you know, a lot of vandalism going on these days. It's a rough world. You never know if someone's gonna light your mailbox on fire. At least now you know your Mystery Tackle Box probably isn't going to just go up in flames that well. All right, I think we're there. Time to see what uh, what fire we have created. Hey, we didn't destroy everything. All right, box is uh, open, partially on fire, so we're gonna leave that outside uh, to cool off for a second. I'm gonna get into some of these awesome baits, tell you how to catch some fish on them. Let's go inside, it's freaking cold. Well, that was probably a terrible idea, but hey, the, the house didn't burn down or anything, so we are all good. Now, as with every mystery tackle box, you get an entire list of what is inside your box so you can check out what's in there it lets you know the msrp and of course if it's a mystery tackle box exclusive item so let's go through our items i'll tell you how i would throw them this time of year and as we move forward into the spring now real quick before i get into the unboxing of all these baits from mystery tackle box i want to let you know i'm going to be giving away this exact box i'm doing for the giveaway today so stay tuned to the end of the video and i'll let you know how you can win this box for the mystery tackle box december pro box 
let's get into the baits. First one up is the Strike Pro Glider. It is $11.59. This is a really cool looking little jerk bait swim bait. Here it is right here. As you can see, it's it's like a jointed jerk bait, swim bait type, uh, type hybrid bait. I'm gonna take this guy out of the box actually. And it says it's suspending. So this bait right here is going to be a really, really cool bait to throw this spring over the tops of some of that submergent grass. I know in Texas, down south, a lot of places, you guys have really, really awesome, badass grass all year long. But this will be a great bait you can throw right over the top of that. And it's it suspends. So you can kind of get those more subtle bites, the non aggressive fish, whenever you're on a trap pattern. Uh, a lot of those lakes like Rayburn, Toledo Bend, all those lakes in Texas, and I know in southeast United States. You guys got a ton of really, really good submergent grass in the spring and in the winter, of course, too. So this would be a great bait for you guys to throw down south. Now, up here in the Midwest, we're probably going to have to wait till like April, May when we get into that time when we got some cleaner water. You know, cleaner water is going to be a big deal with this guy because swim baits are always work better in cleaner water, uh, as do jerk baits. And so this is going to be a really good bait. I would throw this over the tops of grass. I'd twitch it, straight crank it, and stop it, stuff like that get it bogged up on some of that grass and rip it out and let it sit there in their face and they will not be able to resist that really really cool $12 bait from Strike Pro Lures. All right, bait number 2, the Weston Baby Bite, 9.99 MSRP. So we got 11.59 for that Strike Pro Glider and then a $10 bait here from Weston. So we already got a really high dollar value and here it is right here that is the Weston uh, baby bite. So as you can see, crankbait reminds me of that shad rat profile that is so, so deadly whenever you're fishing in cold water. So any type of 45 degree angle bank when that bite is super, super tough, uh, or even just fishing around grass edges or, or just shallow flat stuff like that, a bait like this is absolutely going to get crushed. So guys in the Midwest, if you have open water, this bait will work right now. This is a really, really good bait. I would throw it on a lighter line. You know, it is a little bit heavier bait. I have thrown this and I'm making some videos for Mystery Tackle Box over on their channel. And it does thump a little harder and, and have a little bit wider wobble than your traditional shad wrap. But that right there is a super, super lifelike natural bait for you. Uh, and it comes in a root beer color. You know, root beer is always a great color in off colored water. And like I said, cold water, you know, cold muddy water is absolutely terrible for catching bass. If I was you, I would be throwing something very, very similar to this all the way through the spring. So all the way through that pre-spawn period starting right now, get out, throw this guy. 10 to 12 pound fluorocarbon and just cast it out and wind it in, cover water with this, stop and go retrieve, stuff like that, fish it slower, and even use that tip I gave you guys a couple months ago where you wrap that lead wire around the hook. That'll help this guy suspend really, really well. All right, next bait up, the Jinko Fishing Trimmer Head and Trimmer Shad. Let's see that one. So this right here is the Jinko Fishing. Now that's that's part of the MTB box that, that melted to it. It's got a little bit of snow on it. That does not come as part of the packaging of this bait. That only happens if you try to light your house on fire uh, with a blowtorch. So we'll, we'll get that out of here. This right here is a Jinko Booty Shaker and it looks like that was probably my only casualty of lighting it on fire. So we'll call it a success. I'm gonna take this dude out of the package. It's called the Trimmer Pack. So. As you guys can see, this is a scrounger type bait. What's a scrounger type bait? So a scrounger head made famous, you know, Aaron Martins has talked about this a lot. He made one with Davis Bait Company. Now a lot of companies are knocking it off. This guy right here gives whatever soft plastic you want to put on it just a little bit more action. It has a nice subtle shimmying action. And so you can work this bait. Uh, you can cast it out and reel it in with a really natural soft plastic bait. Uh, and give it a little bit of action, but not too much. So if it's something where you're getting bit on a chatter bait, uh, you're fishing offshore and you need a bait to get down there and, and you want it be, to be a moving bait, uh, but at the same time you want it to be a nice, natural, subtle bait. I'll thread that on and show you guys. This guy right here is going to get the call. So many tournaments have been won on the ledge fishing lakes the last couple years, throwing a bait similar to this, that Castaic Shad, on a really heavy scrounger head. And, and really all guys are doing, just paralleling ledges, drop offs, stuff like that. You can even throw this up shallow though, on weed edges and stuff, and it flat out gets a lot of bites. Just in the same way a chatterbait gets a lot of bites, 
This is a lot like a chatterbait in its action, except it's a lot more subtle. So if you have a little bit cleaner water, uh, you don't wanna throw that swim jig, this works in all the same areas, but especially on that deep offshore structure when you need to get that bait out there and cover some water more than you can with a bottom contact bait. Man, I am gonna need to freaking air this place out before my wife gets home. It smells like a damn fire in here. All right, next thing up, the Mustad Impact Spring Jig. So 225, that is this guy right here. If you guys like to throw little swim baits, awesome awesome time to throw the swim baits as you guys can see it's a nice spring lock there to hold your baits on nice medium gauge wire hook and i'll take out what i'm going to throw that on this this is the lucky john 3d macora that comes with it so the macora you know this is a company i never heard of this is one example of a bait that's a super effective looking little swim bait that i'm a fishing nerd a fishing junkie that knows about every single bait in the industry. This is a bait I've never ever heard of before I got my mystery tackle box. And it gives me an opportunity to try this bait and I'll get one out get it on the hook for you. This Macora, it looks like it only is $3 retail. So it's a pretty cheap bait, but looks really, really effective. So here is the Macora, nice little minnow profile. So it's more slender profile than a lot of swim baits. Has this nice, real thin tapered tail section before the kicker little boot tail on there. So this guy, uh, I assume is gonna be really, really natural in the water, have a nice tight shimmy, and, and it's gonna be perfect whenever you wanna fish a swim bait on a jig head. I know a lot of you guys have seen me throw the single swim bait on a jig head. Works great around all different types of suspended fish. Suspended fish in the winter, you're gonna see a ton of them, especially in those Ozark Highland reservoirs under the corners of docks, uh, or just suspended off of steeper structure like bluff ends, 45 degree angle banks, this is a great way to cast it out with this jig head right here. I would pair these two up, cast out 45 degree angle cast to the bank or directly underneath those dock corners or over the top of deep brush piles, stuff like that. This guy will get you bites. The next bait up in my box is the Ketchco Deathstalker, which you can get nowhere besides mysterytacklebox.com or in your Mystery Tackle Box subscription because it is an exclusive bait brought to you by Ketchco Lures. Here he is right here, has a scorpion on there so you know it's a good bait. This guy is a blade bait. Now blade bait is something I've been talking to you guys a lot. So many guys are catching fish on these this time of year. If you have open water and it's cold water, you can catch fish on this blade bait. It's not something I've explored as much as I want to. I'm really, really trying to get into these blade baits. But basically, all you got to do from everything I've watched, cast it out under any type of rocky structure, especially in cleaner water. Just pump that rod up, let it yo-yo down to the bottom, up and down, all the way back to the bank or all the way back to the boat. It's equally effective if you're out deep uh, or up a little bit shallower. Give these guys a try. These blade baits will catch you fish. All right, one more bait in our mystery tackle box, our pro box, is the Yum Christy Craw. Retails for $2.99. This bait right here is actually a bait that I own, I've used, I've caught a lot of fish on this guy. So things I really, really like about this Yum Christy Craw is, you know, it's an extremely versatile bait. So this is a bait you're gonna be able to use all year long, not just right now in the winter or something. Comes in black and blue, which is one of the best all-time craw colors. I like black and blue and green pumpkin more than any other craw colors. And really the applications for this, they're endless. This is a flapping craw bait. And so you're gonna be able to use this on a Texas rig by itself. You can punch it, put it as a swim jig trailer, a regular football jig or flipping jig trailer. You can do about whatever you want with this guy right here. I mean, even a chatterbait trailer or something like that. So this guy's gonna be effective. I'm not gonna go through all the different ways you can, you can throw this thing or where to throw this thing. Um, but right now, I would love to throw this as a jig trailer with all that action. Uh, or if you're in some, some warmer climates, a chatterbait trailer. This thing would be really, really money this time of year if you have some active fish down south. Down south is where I'm talking about for this guy because right now we have ice on our lakes. Well, that is it for the unboxing today, guys, and the video today. You know, I, I apologize that we're in the terrible time of the season where it's about impossible for me to go get some content right now. But as you guys voted on in the video last week, I'm going down south this week to do some open water fishing. Thanks for everyone that gave me the feedback in that poll that I posted in that video. So it looks like I'm going south and then maybe I'll come back and do some of that custom airbrush lure painting uh, and some ice fishing. Get my ice fishing season kicked off. I got a couple of really awesome new ice fishing items. I'm super stoked to get on the water, try them out this season. But we better do some giveaways. You know, I'm gonna have to put that mystery tackle box, uh, those baits in a different box because as you saw, 
I, uh, I destroyed my box that they sent me. So uh, you guys get a brand new box. Don't worry, I'm not, I'm not sending out a, an ashy, smoky smelling box to you guys. Although that would be kind of hilarious and seems like something that I would do. Maybe I'll do it in the future, not this time. But in order for you guys to win that mystery tackle box, this box I did the unboxing for today, you only have to do three different things. It's the same three things in all my giveaway videos. First thing you gotta do, go hit the thumbs up. Second thing you gotta do, go subscribe to Melican Fishing. Number three, drop a comment down below. One week from today, I will pick the winner and I'll put it on this video. So it'll say giveaway winner, right down the below will be your name. If it's your name there, go over, message me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Give me your contact information. I will ship this, well not this box, but these baits in a different non-ashy box uh, out to you. So the way I pick the winner is with a random comment generator. Your comment down below, it'll pick a random comment out of those, and then I'll go make sure you're subscribed to Melican Fishing, put your name down below, and then get in touch with me. I will send you out this box. So once again, three steps. Thumbs up, subscribe to Melican Fishing, leave a comment down below, and you can win this box from Mystery Tackle Box. Again, if you want to use Mystery Tackle Box, click the link right down below and use the promo code MILK. It gives you an opportunity to try it out before you commit to any long term agreement. You could cancel anytime if you want to, like I said, but I don't see you guys wanting to cancel after getting some of these awesome baits. They've really done a good job, and I've been really blown away this year by the awesome baits Mystery Tackle Box has. And I don't really see that changing in the foreseeable future. I'm going to be repping these baits and getting these boxes, showing you guys awesome ways to catch fish on them all year long in 2018, which I'm super stoked for. But like I said, I'm, I'm getting out of here. I'm heading down south, going to fish some Ozark stuff, some Kansas stuff, some power plant stuff, hopefully catch some slaunches. Thank you guys so much for watching the video today. I'll catch you down south very soon. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine. I can't stop with a love.